everybody, Patty Ann here again. Today I'm going to show you something that I think is totally, totally game changing with the printmaker and you're going to absolutely love this. But before we get into that, I just wanted to refresh your memory. When you get the printmaker, you get all of these. Each one of these rectangles here is a set of images and things that you can get. So for example, if I click on some, any one of these, um, how about this one, Fifth and Monaco. Okay. When you click on that, you'll notice here it tells you a little something about it. This is the clip art area. You see all of this beautiful clip art that you get and you can scroll over and you get more. Okay, but that's not all that you get in the fifth and Monaco section, Monaco. You get patterns. Look at these cool patterns that you can print out and use on cards or scrapbooking or washi tape or fabric. Okay. And then you also get templates, which are easy to change what they say and customize them very easily. It's actually pretty easy to customize all of this, but that's just one of them. So notice in each one of these rectangles, I'll show you again, you get clip art, patterns, and templates. And for a whole year, you get all of these for free. But here's the thing. Not only do you get all of these things to use, you can create your own things. You know what a lover I am of Creative Fabrica. And I know tons of you have a subscription there as well. <clears throat> because you understand the benefits that you get from having that subscription. Especially if you go through that link I have down below. For a dollar, you can join for a month. Grab as much stuff as you want. And then unsubscribe. Or keep your subscription going like I've done and get things all the time that you can use for everything, whether it be for cards, sublimation, what else? Rhinestones, embroidery, um, vinyl, you name it, you can do it. So let me show you how that's going to be useful when we're using our printmaker. So I'm going to get go here and bring this down so I can see. Okay, so what I did was I just went to Creative Fabrica and I found this really super cute sunflower bundle. Lots of people are using or wanting to do sunflowers right now in support of Ukraine or people in general just love sunflowers. So I've already downloaded them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload something into my um, printmaker. Now, as you can see, I have the printmaker on my PC computer. I tried and tried to get that to work on in Google Chrome and I couldn't get it to work. This is in Microsoft Edge and it works okay. There is one little glitch and I'll show that to you in a bit. But what I will show you is this. Let's say we want to create something with those sunflowers we just made. When I clicked on create, that opened up this little canvas. As you can see, the canvas is about here's from here to here is one inch. From here to here is probably two inches. If I want to, I could make the canvas three inches wide by coming down here and clicking and then just stretching this out until there's two till I see the three. There it is, three inches. Now, whatever is going to print is going to be exactly three inches wide, I'll call it. <clears throat> so now if we want to put something we brought in ourselves from Creative Fabrica, we can just go to Tools and Pictures. Once I'm in Pictures, I just went and navigated to my Downloads folder and I found the Sunflower Bundle and I just went ahead and got this. So what I can do, hmm, I can choose any one of these. I really like this B one right here. I think I'll use that. Click on that and say Open and we'll see what size it comes in. Okay, looks pretty cute. I can also zoom in if I want to see what it really looks like, like that. Okay, and I can move him over. And if I want to make him larger. Now, I'm just zooming in so I can see it better right now. Okay, so there's that. And let's say I want to... I'll just leave it like this for right now. So I could go back then. I could zoom back out. Okay. 
and change my canvas size if I'd like to so that it more matches the B. So what I had to do was I clicked off here and that allowed me to see tools down here in canvas. Then I clicked on canvas, which gave me these boxes, which I can adjust. So there it is just like that. Now I can go ahead and click on this and say print. And it's just going to print one. If I'd like it to print more than one, I would turn this off or turn this on to reprintable printing. And I could say I wanted to print just one time or two, all the way up to 10 or an infinite number. Like it'll keep printing until I stop rolling the thing along. Tammy was telling me this morning that somebody was asking her about, well, how, how long of a piece can you print? And Tammy says, well, let's say you're going on a 10 mile walk. And if you can walk with your printer, your little printmaker down on the ground, it'll keep printing for as long as you can walk. I thought that was a perfect way to say it. So I think I'll just do mine like three times. And now here's the place that's not real great. Okay, so if I wanna click on this and say print, I will click on print and it really doesn't work well because the other print button over here is grayed out. Even though honestly on my PC, I do have my little printmaker paired, but for some reason it doesn't print from here. If anybody knows the trick, let me know. I'll continue to look into it. But So what I do for now is this. I'll just close this. I'm going to keep this guy right here and click on him to select him. And I'm going to come up here to where it says, to where it says save. And it says it's saving. And then this comes up and it says give me a design name. So I'm going to give it a design name and I'm just going to say be kind. Okay. And I'm going to say done, and it's going to ask me where do I want to save it? Well, I've already made a collection called Creative Fabrica. If I had not made this collection, I could say add a collection and name it. But I'm going to keep all of the things that I get from Creative Fabrica together so I remember where I got them from. So I'll just say Creative Fabrica, and now it's saved there. And now what I want you to do is to come down here and look at my iPad. If you look here, and I go to home, here are all those things that we know are available. There's a folder up here now that's called Creative Fabrica. And if I open that, you'll notice there are two things in it. I already saved this Easter sign from Creative Fabrica, and now I've saved this Be Kind one. So I'm going to click on that, and that will open it just like that. So then the next thing I can do is I can just say print and I can just print it one time if that's what I want to do. And I'll start like that. So I'm gonna say send to printer, okay? And I'll move this out of the way because it's sent. Bring my paper in, I'm just for my demonstration. And I have a magnetic board. You can buy one to go with this, but I already had one. But I did buy this piece because I love this. It's got magnets here at the bottom, which keeps it down flat on your paper it makes it really easy for you to go straight. So see, that's magnetized down there. So now I can bring my little printmaker over and it's green, so then I'll just go across. And it made one be kind. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back in and say I'm done printing. And this time I'm gonna send it to the printer, but I'm gonna print it three times. So I just changed that repeatable printing is on and I changed it to three times send to printer it's preparing it sending it to the printer now I heard him make his little noise that so he's ready put him here click this button and go and there it is three times be kind isn't that cute so again, I would say I'm done printing. And let's say, for example, I wanted to create something else new. I might go home and I'm thinking I might go into my Creative Fabric again. And let me show you how cute this Easter one turned out. So there it is right there. And I'll say print. That's what it looks like. I'll say, let's do it two times. Send it to the printer. Get okay, this out of the way. And bring this up and again, line it up. And 
Hopefully that looks good. So I can use the lines on my uh, mat to help me as well to make sure I'm getting things straight and to make sure my paper is straight. So now I'll bring this over here, put it on, hit this button, and it's ready. And there we go, Easter, two times. So cute, love it. So you, the world is your oyster, as they say. Um, when you can find things in Creative Fabrica that you want to use. And actually, you wouldn't even need to do that on your regular computer. You could just go here and and find anything that you like for Creative Fabrica. Okay, here we are in Creative Fabrica. And I could look through here and find anything that I like. Let's just go under Easter search and let's see what we can find look at that adorable chick Ooh, I'm just remembering Tammy found some really cute chicks I wonder how far she had to go into this to find them maybe I should write down chick Easter chick E A S T E R C H I C K search I think I see the one she got I thought I did All right, I'm just going to do this one because it's cute. Because this is chilling chicks. Chilling with my chicks. So, you know, the digi chicks, I believe, are this Sunday. So I think I'll do them. So I'll download that. Download. Recents. Easter chick. There it is. And I want to unzip it. So I would do the PNGs. And the one I liked was chilling peeps. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, I love it. All right, so I wonder what I can do with this. I can save it. And then what? Go back to Printmaker and Create Home. Let's see, Create. Going to go to Tools, Images. Was it in my photo library? Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's use that. All cute. Chilling with my peeps. But you know what? They spelled peeps wrong. They put P E P P S. Chilling with my peps. My peps? That's weird. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to make it bigger, like this. So maybe that part will be off. Oh, I don't want that because this is chilling with my... I almost think that that term is um, copyrighted, chilling with my peeps, doing stuff with my peeps. That's just freaking weird. Let's uh, delete this one. Delete. See if there's another one that we like. Okay, I found another super cute one. This one says chilling with my chicks. So that's cute too. But I don't know why that other one was goofy. So I was just making it a little bit bigger. And I think I'll go ahead and change the size of my canvas here. So I can click get the word canvas. That puts the boxes around it. And I can do like that. And I'll say let's print it. That's what it looks like. I think I'll print it three times. Turn my printer on before and then send it to my printer. Okay. Hopefully everybody can see this. Put this down here. I'm not going to worry totally about making it straight because this video is getting kind of long. So I'll bring it over here. Remember, it's going to start right where that line is. Hit the button. Green. Go. Oh, oh, so cute. Okay, I'm going to scroll way in so you guys can see that well. See, I'm done printing. And I could go back to create. I go back to home. Do I want to save that design? Don't save it. And I'm ready to start again. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this 
little learning session with me. I'm learning. I'm teaching you what I'm learning as I learn. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these, I do have a link for you down below where I found it the cheapest that I could find it at a retail store. Um, also, if you're in the market to buy other things, I appreciate it when you use my links down below. It just helps us at Patty Ann's Place to keep us going. So thanks again. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Also, please subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I go live or when I put up a new video. So I'll see you again soon. Bye.